I want to do some more investigation of the question, on average, how many steps does it take in a random walk to get a distance of n from the origin? So just like before, let me define step using delayed assignment to be a random choice of negative 1 and 1. And now for something a little different, let me define a function called walk, which takes as input n, and then as output returns a random walk that continues until it gets a distance of n from the origin. So I'll do this with nest while list. And my function is going to be add step. So variable plus step, finish with an ampersand, start at add zero. And I want to continue until it's a distance of n from the origin. So one way to do that is I could do absolute value of the variable, and now I'm going to say not equals. The way you do not equals is exclamation point followed by equals. And then like always with these pure functions, like these functions that involve a pound symbol, I finish it with the and symbol. So let's test it out. Let's look at a walk for. So there's a random walk continuing until it gets to a distance of 4 from the origin. Let's try it again and just make sure it also stops at negative 4. So far I haven't found one. There's one that stops at negative 4. Okay, perfect. And I want to investigate what's the average length of these walks. So what's the average length of something like this? So let me define a new function called length of n, and that's going to be length of one of these walks. So let's take a look at these in a table. Let's do table length 4, and let's do 100 iterations of this. So what does this mean? This means the first random walk took 11 steps, second random walk took 25 steps, and so on, and I want to investigate what's the average length of this. So let me define one more function. This will be the last one. I'm going to say average n. This is going to be average, oops, I meant to say mean. That's the key word for average. I could tell I had done something wrong because when I typed in average with a capital A and put the square brackets, it was still in blue. Whereas if it's a built-in function, it's supposed to be in black. And I've made a little mistake here. What mistake have I made? The right-hand side doesn't depend on my input at all. So instead of length of one of these walks until I get to 4, it's supposed to be a length until I get to n. Okay, that's better. Now let me make a list of some points involving this data. I'm going to make it using table, and I'm going to have n average n. And so what I'm hoping is that when I plot these points, it looks like it follows the parabola y equals x squared. Because that's my hypothesis for what the average looks like. My hypothesis is that to get a distance of 8 from the origin, it takes on average 8 squared steps in our random walk. And we haven't used the second type of iterator as often as the first type, but this is a good opportunity to use it. So let me do it for n, and then I'm just going to choose some random values for n. So before I did 4, but here I'm going to choose some random values. Let's do 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, and 15. So what does that mean? That means it's going to make a list containing these points that I've highlighted in blue for each value of n inside this list. So for each value of n, 2, 3, 5, up to 15. Just this random pattern that I chose here. And let me call this my table. If I had wanted, I could have put a capital N around this average. But I'm not going to do that. I actually like it a little better that I can't tell exactly what these values are. So now let's plot them. And remember, if you want to plot a list of points, you use the keyword list plot.
Okay, looks kind of like a parabola. Say I want to also graph the parabola, y equals x squared, to see how it looks. Well, let me do that separately first. So let me do plot x squared. How about for x? Here I went from 2 to 15, so let's do the exact same thing here for x from 2 to 15. And what if I want to get these on the same axes? How can I do that? Well, let me copy this. And let me go up here. And what's the keyword I'm going to use? The keyword I'm going to use is show. So I want to show both the list plot and the traditional plot. And now when I evaluate this, I should see both of them on the same axes. And there you can see that it follows pretty well with this y equals x squared parabola. Let's try increasing the accuracy. So let's try instead of doing 100 random walks, which is what it did up here, let's try doing 10,000 random walks. So I've changed my definition of average. Now I'm going to change my definition of my table. And it's taking a little bit of time because now I'm doing 10,000 iterations instead of 100 iterations. So I expected it to take about 100 times longer. And now I'm going to plot these again. And there you can see that the points that I plotted, they follow this parabola y equals x squared very closely.